two men are facing life in prison after they were both convicted of the brutal murder of Stephen Bellamy, even though only one of them actually attacked him. Stephen Beach used a long-handled spiked garden tool to stab him from behind while getaway driver Luke Teague watched from his car. The victim fell to the ground and Beach quickly got into Teague's car before they drove away and later abandoned and burnt out the car in a remote countryside. Beach of Scunthorpe and Teague of Grimsby denied murdering Mr Bellamy on April the 26th. However, they were both convicted by a jury at Hull Crown Court after a trial. Beach admitted a lesser charge of manslaughter, but Teague denied that offence. Teague admitted assisting an offender by driving Beach away from the scene and destroying the car by fire after the murder. They both showed no emotion as the jury foreman returned the guilty verdicts to murder. Judge John Thackeray QC told him, you have been convicted by the jury of murder. You will both receive life imprisonment. The length of the minimum term that they must serve in prison would be decided at the next hearing after submissions by the barristers. The prosecution claimed during the trial that Beach got out of a car driven by Teague and ran up to Mr Bellamy while holding, like a javelin, a pronged, long-handled metal tiler. Beach stabbed Mr Bellamy in the head from behind with a large garden tool that went straight through his skull into his brain. He is said to have used it as part of a revenge attack in Rutland Street, Grimsby on April the 24th after an early argument with the victim. Beach got back into the car and was driven away by the getaway driver Teague. Mr Bellamy suffered a fractured skull and bleeding and swelling on the brain. He died of his injuries two days after the confrontation. Teague's burnt out car was found on a track off North Lane between Thorsway and Bimbrook. It was identified from its sashi number. There had been a previous problem between Beach and Mr Bellamy in the past from when they were both in prison it was claimed. Beach claimed during his defence evidence that he grabbed a garden tool that was long enough so he could keep him at bay with it. He said, I had no plans with it at all. I was hoping that we would just see each other, stand and talk and resolve the problem peacefully. He arrived with Teague in the car, got out while holding the garden tool and lined it up at face height. He claimed I was in fear, I got scared, I just wanted to try and sort things out normally and peacefully. Beach claimed I had that for protection because he tried to attack me. He denied wanting to stab Mr Bellamy with a spiked garden tool. If I was thinking of stabbing somebody, I would get a knife, not that. I lifted it up while I ran. As I got nearer, I started to line it up. I honestly thought I hit him in the side of the head with the thing. I didn't look like it went in, it was so quick. He turned around, took a few steps, I took a few steps back. He started shouting, going mad. He was just going mad. So after the hearing, family members of Mr Bellamy, who were in court, did not comment and both men are to be sentenced in January. So that's some news coming up from Grimsby where uh, two men are facing life in prison after they were both convicted of the brutal murder of Stephen Bellamy. I just want to say rest in peace Stephen and my condolences go out to your family. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.